It's all over the media in Spain. The extraordinary fossil that radically changes our understanding of human history. CNN in Espanol. The discovery was made in the Penilla de Valle, a remote area about 50 miles north of Madrid. The area is also referred to as the Valle de los Neanderthals. The Neanderthals project teaches young archaeology students to master excavation and fossil processing. The valley is full of Neanderthal bones, tools, and artifacts. Jesus Massa is a PhD student who has worked at the site for six months. El Mundo described how he got up on the morning of August 28th, had his coffee in the nearby town, and then drove to the site. He had no idea that he was about to make the discovery of a lifetime. El Mundo, September 7th. Cuando el 29 de agosto el geólogo Jesús Massa se despertó, se vistió, desayunó y puso rumbo a su trabajo. No sospechaba que ese día iba a cambiarle la vida. Jesús and his friends were working the lower level of the dig site. As El Mundo described it, all of a sudden, something got his attention. He dug deeper, he took it out and brushed it off. It was a tooth. He alerted the site directors, Israel Jimenez and Enrico Baquedano. They immediately got on the phone to campaign manager Juan Luis Arzuaga at the Museo de Madrid and texted him the photo. Within an hour, Dr. Arzuaga, a legend in Spanish paleoanthropology, confirmed the tooth was of an early modern human, not a Neanderthal. Se emocionaron mucho, casi hasta llorar. They became emotional, they even cried for joy. Vamos a celebrar la fiesta. News spread fast, particularly among the archaeology students across Spain. El diente más famoso del mundo. ABC España describes the tooth as being dated to between 400,000 to 500,000 years ago. It is a molar of an adult of advanced age. The tooth was found among a number of hyena bones. The archaeologists are unsure if the owner of the tooth had been hunting and eating the hyenas, or if the hyenas had eaten him. Quite ironically, this same site received worldwide media attention and write-ups in the scientific media six months ago. Dozens of Neanderthal trophies, cow skulls, were found that they had used to decorate the caves symbolic of their hunts. Heidelbergensis, Homo sapien, or Neanderthal. Enrique Boquedano is a professor at the Universidad de Valladolid. He has numerous awards and titles. He has also participated in expeditions with the Leakey Foundation to Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania. He is quoted at ABC España. Es un homo pre-Neanderthal. Como poco hydroburgensis y más viejo que el de la cima de los huesos de Atapuerca. What we can be assured of is that it is a genus Homo pre-Neanderthal. Could be hydroburgensis, but older than the fossils found at cima de los huesos. 
The Cima de los Huesos site in the north of Spain contains the remains of 28 individuals, some showing signs of having been murdered and cannibalized. The Cima fossils were originally believed to be 530,000 years old and likely Hattabragensis. Chris Stringer argued that they were younger and likely Neanderthals. From Thought.com, August 2020, Cima de los Huesos is now dated to 430,000 years ago, and that places it close to the age predicted for when the split in hominid species creating the Neanderthal and Denisovan lineages occurred. This strongly suggests the Cima fossils may be from the last common ancestor of Neanderthals, Denisovans, and even Homo sapiens. The tooth from Pania de Valle has been determined to be from 400,000 to 500,000 years ago. Is the tooth from the last common ancestor of Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens? Or is this tooth from the first Homo sapien in Europe, as some of the leaders of the project suggest? In honor of the magnificent find, according to ABC España, the leaders of the excavation site have decided to officially change the name of the site from Uncovered Cave to Cave of Wonders. Thanks for watching. Hasta la próxima vez. Nos vemos. Remember, the best thing you can do to help our efforts here at Right Anthro is to pass this video on to others. Thank you.